Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, we will start cleaning up our data so that uh, it is ready for our analysis. And we will see step by step how we can do that. So first, we will going to do uh, what we are going to do is look at the order central and click over here on the plus icon. And we will going to click on add step. So once we click on the add step, you will observe that uh, this workspace has been changed now and it is showing you a lot of different information and mostly what it is showing you is basically the distribution of data. So for example, in row ID, not that much relevant but showing you a distribution. Similarly, the order ID, uh, a distribution is over here and from this also you can clearly see that uh, what sort of distribution that is available but things which is more relevant is in the ship mode where it is clearly uh, highlighted that uh, standard class is the one where most of the orders are coming similarly uh, customer id this and this is basically seems like uh, most repeated customer and customer name we can see the distribution of customer name as well as uh, it has been highlighted in gray Similarly, in segment, you have consumer. So that's basically a distribution that is present to us. And not only this, you have uh, things like uh, filter values also over here uh, and another option like uh, create calculated field. And there are some recommendations like uh, country change, date role, data role to country region, to city, uh, to state province and zip postal code. So based on the geographic value it has it is giving you the recommendation You can also search the field if you have let's say hundreds of columns you can search the fields as well So once you click on these uh, this or once you add the clean tab, all of this information is present to you and uh, You have uh, you have this this uh, similar not that similar like tableau because in tableau you have a data table but in this case you have this distribution of data along with the similar sort of icon like you can click over here and change the data type you can double click on this and you can change the name of the column and uh, over here you can sort and you have these three ellipses more options for further cleaning of data that we will see it in action also, if your flow is pretty big and you don't want to show this information, let's say later part in this stage of data cleaning, you can always click on this icon and this will give you the entire space for looking at the flow. And you can also again click back over here like this and then the information will be uh, with you for all the different columns that are, that are present. Now let's look at some of the cleaning steps. So if you remember, one of the thing which is missing from here is the region field. So you have country, city, state, postal code. But what you don't have is the region field. So what we can do is we can create a calculated field, call it region to make to be inconsistent with the other data sets that we have. And within double quotes, we will say central and close this and click apply and save so what we have applied is central and you will see that central is reflected even over here as well so what it has is basically you can think it as a change log which which basically log all of your changes that you are doing within this data set so let's say later uh, in the stage of development maybe after a week two week or a month you want to review all the changes or you want to show all of the changes that has been done on the data maybe to other developer because they may want to reuse your data you can simply take this uh, change log and walk them through as well as for you also uh, if if once you are done with the development most of the time it happens that you are forgetting what you have done so this change log can become really handy and you can see what the, what are all the changes that you have done so the very first change that we have done is we have added the calculated field and now uh, at least our data set inconsistent with the other data sets and next thing i remember if i go towards right and just check if this was part of uh, this particular data set is yeah so order year 
order month, order day. Similarly, ship year, ship month, and ship day. So what we want is we want to combine these two fields into one single field, which is order date and ship date, which is inconsistent with the other data set. So what we need to do again is uh, create a calculated field. We will say order date and then come over here. Use the function which is make date. First mention order year, then order month and then order day. Which as you can see the format of the date is first you need to specify year, then month, then day. So once we have this, we will click on apply and we will click on save. So our order, so this change has been logged over here, as you can see, along with the function. And uh, you, we can see the order date, maybe far left, yeah, over here. So one thing also to notice is whatever field, the new field that you will add, uh, will have an icon like this, which is a calculated field icon, and it will be on the extreme left or at the start of the uh, data set fields. So this way you can locate them easily. So first we created region, it came here, then we created order date, and it came here. Now let's go ahead and create the ship date field as well with the same um, same syntax and just repeating the process and you can repeat with me ship month ship day all right click apply and save so now we have order date we have ship date okay and all of these three locks that first we did the addition of region then we added the calculated field uh, for making the order date and then we added the field for adding the ship date as we have the order date and ship date field already created, we now don't need the other order field. So if I just search with the order, you see that we have created the order date, but now we don't need order year, order month and order day. So what we can do is come over here and just click on remove. Come over here, click on remove come over here click on remove right so this way uh, this will not be part of the data set however in the back end data it is available and that is why you are able to see the order date so order date is uh, basically using these three fields to make the date but since all of the information is present here we don't need it in the front end data set so don't think that we have removed it from the original data set it's always a part of original data set once we have imported it into the uh, data over here so once we are done with this we can do the similar thing with the ship so ship date we already created and we have ship year we will just go ahead and click on remove come over here and click on remove um, come over here and click on remove so now all of these logs have been generated based on the operation that we have performed and that's really nice thing which I love about it and one more thing which I will uh, just highlight to you and that you can do for a better understanding so as I said that uh, this basically represent the the data uh, distribution right but in case of uh, year you know it's it seems like it has summarized the data and that is basically the option which is present here in the more options where a summary you can have a state by summary or by detail so if you can click on detail and this will present a beautiful detail by each date what was the order or what was the order value that was present so if you are really interested in looking at the detail information you can come over here in the more options and you can click on the detail option and this way it will become pretty handy so in case of dates it makes sense but in case of uh, ship mode or things like segment it makes sense that it should be a summary right so we are pretty much there and uh, one last thing maybe the second last thing what we can do over here is uh, what I noticed is basically the discount and as you can see it is a numeric value 
but it's highlighted as string also wherever the discount is not given it says none however it should say zero so what you can do is double click on this right and just change it to zero that's how easy it is in tableau that uh, or in this tableau prep builders that uh, all those values where it was none in all those rows it will, will be replaced with zero right and uh, now i'll just come over here and change it to number decimal so this is the the another change which i wanted to show you that how you can replace the value and uh, finally what we can do is change the name of this tab is uh, fixing order date so based on you know all the steps that you have done is you can mention it or you can say fixing dates and discount something like at a summary level so this way you will see that uh, all the changes that you have done is uh, is mostly discovering or you can say fixing uh, dates discount and region field so that's pretty much it what i wanted to show you in this first cleaning video we have uh, uh, i have couple of videos uh, for uh, rest of the issues that we have discussed in the previous video and i'll show you step by step how you can do that so that's that's about it in this for this video and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic